right, beautiful ones. So I've been checking in with myself this week about the idea of when you tend to get a little bit um, annoyed at other people. <laughs> I'm sure it's happened to you once um that we always have our teachings to return to and they always will remind us that everyone who annoys us to a place of going deep that it's work for us to do and that they are god goddess they are an offering to us even though they pissed us off they're an offering for us to go into ourselves and do the work and so that's really what we're going to do today is some really great work in freeing ourselves from thinking that the world outside of us is coming at us. Instead, it's coming from within us and it's healing us. So bring your hands together. Rub your hands together. And steady your palms at your heart as we pranam, as we bow to ourselves to this gorgeous journey of enlightenment. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Release the hands down, Gyana Mudra, and together we chant Ad Gure Name, Sugad Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Gure Deve Name, Ad Gure Name, Sugad Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Gure Deve Name. Ad gure name, jugad gure name, sad gure name, siri gure teve name, siri gure teve name, siri gure teve name. As you take this breath in, inhale deeply, exhale fully, and then hold the breath out. Hold the breath out of the body. Draw the navel in, squeeze and lift the pelvic floor. No breath. And then return to your breath. Good. Stretch your legs out in front of you for a moment. Just shake your legs out. We're going to go right into our first meditation, which is using that kumbak or that pausing of the breath after the exhale. So shake out those legs, maybe do a little tapping of those legs. Okay, <laughs> find yourself back in a cross-legged position. Your thumbs are gonna come to touch. You're gonna curl your uh, pointer finger in. And then you're going to take your middle finger out and then curl in your ring and your pinky. I'll do it again, okay? So you're going to have your thumbs come to touch, curl the knuckle, the top of your pointer finger in, your middle fingers out, and the other two fingers come in. So the only thing that's out is your middle finger. Does that make sense? And then bring that to the heart. You're gonna begin with a long inhale. You're gonna take a long exhale. Let me just make sure, cause I got two of them, two of them that we're doing here today together. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, inhale completely and hold the breath while repeating your favorite mantra. So you can choose your favorite mantra. If you can't think of a favorite mantra, Satnam will always be amazing. You're gonna repeat your mantra as long as you can and then go ahead and exhale. So here we go. You're gonna inhale, hold the breath, repeat your mantra. When you need to, exhale. And I'm just gonna run and get my glasses, but keep going. Meditation to tranquilize the mind. Remember, you're inhaling, you're holding the breath, repeating mantra. And then you're exhaling all the way out. Now, when you get to the end of that exhale, pause again, repeat your mantra. Inhale, top of the inhale, pause, repeat your mantra. Maybe Satnam, maybe another one that's a favorite to you. At the end of the exhale, same thing. These retention breaths are known as powerful tools to clean our blood, clean our mind, relax our nervous system. Keep going, stay very steady in your mudra, stay very steady in your mind. Let yourself even mingle with taking your breath a little longer on the inhale and a little longer on the exhale. And maybe your pause even becomes a little longer, but your nervous system is completely relaxed. Stay here, stay big in this moment, completely connected.
stay with it for one more minute. Notice how powerful it is to have that retention breath and to be feeding your mind of mantra. Good, last one, inhaling, hold, exhaling, hold. And then when you're ready, just gently release your hands down and feel. So simple, right? What brings us back to ourselves? It brings us back to honoring, bowing, nurturing each moment that we live so fully in. And come forward into child's pose. If you would like to lay your arms stretch out in front of you and bring your hands together in prayer. Pranam. Feel that breath at your back body. As if your back body is rising up with your inhale. And you just notice the breath, the upward flow, the downward flow from the core of your body to the extremities, from the extremities to your core, and then all the cells of the body temple of light. Come on up to your hands and knees and begin to cat and cow. Eyes open or closed. It's nice to be given that choice to be aware of which one you're doing. My eyes are opened and I am looking out of my eyes. My eyes are closed. I'm looking inside. And how quickly or slowly I'm moving my spine and I'm breathing with each movement. Falling in, falling in, falling in. This time last year, I was heading to India. There's something just so spectacular about the devotion that you see in India. The devotion of those who have nothing, people that have nothing. To them, they have everything. Belief in the love of the Mother Ganga, healing waters, 
Beautiful, everybody. Go ahead and press back downward facing dog. Go into those feeling waters within you. Go into that feeling fire within you. Fire ceremony that they do daily, morning and night. Walk your feet to your hands, standing forward bend. And then stretch your arms out and up to the sky. Come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward. And continue like that. Just pranaming yourself, bowing to yourself. Good, next time you reach your arms up to the sky, let a prayer form over the top of your head and bring that prayer to your heart. Close your eyes and begin breath of fire. Inhale, exhale through your nose, pump your navel center. Pump that fire. Stoke that fire, tend that fire. Good, exhale fully. Inhale here, exhale, release your hands down alongside. Turn your feet wide and come into squat or any variation. Feel your body sink deep into that pelvic energy. Energy in the pelvis, life-giving, life-nurturing. And then come on down to sit, come to a cross-legged seat. Bring your hands behind your head. You'll inhale here. So exhale, bring your forehead down to or toward the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Actually, I'm sorry, they want you to inhale as you bend forward. Exhale as you come back up. Inhale forward, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale. Kind of the opposite of what I would think to do, following directions. Breathe powerfully. This helps to stimulate the lymphatic system. Keep those elbows as wide as you can. Get lost in this. Instead of thinking how long, just get lost in it. That idea of feeling of bowing, the inner temple. Really good, keep going, almost there.
Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take a deep breath in. Relax your hands down and just feel. And lay down on your back. Keeping your arms alongside the body, you're just gonna slither like a snake. So just move your body, move your legs, but keep your arms alongside the body. Slither your body like a snake. Yep. Let your head move, your shoulders, your hips, your legs. They're slithering through the grass or something. Certainly not slithering through the snow. <laughs> Slither through the grass with the sun beating down on you. <coughs> cool breeze. Move powerfully, breathe powerfully, helping to clear and clean the lymphatic system. Move those legs, the hips, everything is just slithering. One more minute here. Don't give up, slither well. Never know what you'll be asked to do in Kundalini class, right? Be a snake, transform yourself. Good, come to stillness. Turn over onto your belly. Same idea, slither away. This one, they're suggesting that you move like a crocodile. <laughs> I think you can just be a snake on your belly, but whatever. A crocodile makes it work better for you. Move those shoulders, move those hips, slither, slither. The moment that you hope somebody doesn't really walk in the room. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Slithering like a crocodile. None of your business. Legs, shoulders, hips, breath. Keep moving, don't stop. Clear, clean.
One more minute. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One more minute here. You are the caretaker of this gift. Use our tools for when we get annoyed at another person. See them as God, goddess. They brought you to your core. They're helping you to really fully step into you. Okay, and then relax. Turn your cheek to the side. Ah, let out a sigh. Okay, turn back over onto your back. Turn over onto your back. Take your hands behind your head. Lie on your back, hands behind your head. Your legs are straight out in front of you. Squeeze the heels toward each other. Legs are straight. Head stays on the floor. Squeeze your heels to touch. Inhale your legs up. Exhale your legs down. Inhale your legs up. Exhale your legs down. Navel in, straight legs up, straight legs down. Susan, can you keep your legs straighter now? There you go. If there's a reason that you can't, I understand. I just wanted to make sure I was clear. Remind yourself, this is all so good for me. My medicine, I'm taking my medicine. How we live in this world, how we love in this world. The tools that we have, community that we have. So blessed. I think that's what was so spectacular in India was seeing so little, seeing the love in their eyes and the feeling of being blessed. So they had so little, not everyone, obviously in India, there's there, we also saw many people that had, whoa. The ones that shared a smile and lived next to the Ganges in tents, they touched me very deeply. They had all they needed. All they needed. And then come to stillness, lie on your back for a moment and feel. Just rest for a minute. So you're gonna reach your arms straight up and open your hands and then make fists and bring it down like you're bringing a heavy weight onto your chest. When you reach up straight up, arms will go straight and you're gonna let your hands open. And when your hands come down, you're gonna bring it into fists. Yep, as if you're letting heavy weight drop on you. 
So you're gonna use your breath once again, move with great tension as if you're lifting a weight. Exhale as you raise the arms uh, up. Once your arms are straight, you're gonna open it like I said, and then make your hands back into fists and bring it back down. Yeah, I know, I know. It's so, uh, it says, keep going. And let me just try to figure this out because it, it, it's not written well. So inhale when you lift up, exhale when you pull it down. Inhale when you lift up, exhale when you drop it down. Yep, stay on your back though. You got it. And just think of yourself as clearing out lymph energy, moving lymph energy, moving any stagnation. Remember when you pull it down, it's like a heavy weight's dropping on your chest. When you reach it up, extend those fingers. Got it. Yep. Breath is strong, strong breath. Keep going. Think of all that energy moving through you so beautifully. What can I release here? Movement is very clear. I am releasing, I am releasing. One more minute here, powerful. Beautiful, 30 seconds, we got this. Good, then let both hands drop onto your heart, left hand on your heart, right hand on top of left, and then just shake everything really fast. It's only a minute and a half, just let everything shake. They give you the example, which I don't like it, but a fish in a frying pan. <laughs> Tofu in a frying pan. Shake it all up. Shake it up, shake it up. Only a minute and a half. Hands stay on your heart. Shake, shake, shake. 
shake, shake, shake. 30 seconds. Don't cheat yourself. Go, 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 go. Beautiful, last part of this Kriya, last part. Stretch your arms over you and crisscross your arms. Stretch your legs up off the floor and crisscross your legs. Not long, not long. Crisscross arms, crisscross legs. Crisscross arms, crisscross legs. Crisscross arms, crisscross legs. Yep, yep, go, go, go. Then you get to rest. And you get to rest. actually gives the instruction of napping next. So go, 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 crisscross. Keep that navel drawn in. You're almost there. I promise, I promise, I promise. Then comes napping time. Then comes singing time. <laughs> Beautiful. Hug your knees into your chest. Relax your legs down, relax your arms down and rest. See how deeply you can relax. Make sure you're warm.
just another minute here, completely, completely relaxing. And they begin to breathe a little deeper. Drawing one knee into the chest and taking a spinal twist. And then to the other side. And then rise up to sit, bringing your hands together at prayer and chant. Hame ham to me to wahe guru. Go ahead, your turn. Hame ham sume tsu wahe guru. Wahe guru, wahe guru, wahe guru, wahe jio. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jio. Hame Ham, Tume Tu, Wahe Guru. Hame ham to me to wahe guru. I am blind in mind, wahe guru. I am blind in mind, wahe guru. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jio. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jio. Hame ham to me to wahe guru. Hame ham to me to wahe guru. Just for a moment, sing it silently to yourself. The deep conversation that you're having with the beloved. Absolute peace and tranquility. The universal energy, cosmic energy, silently.
and then inhale deeply. Hold your breath, pray for peace within yourself and throughout the world. And then exhale, release your hands and just feel for a moment. This final meditation that we'll do is for strong nerves, it says. Strong nerves. So your left hand, you put your thumb and your ring finger together, thumb and ring finger on your left hand, and just hold it out to the side. Your right hand, you're gonna hold your thumb to your pinky, and you're gonna scoop that underneath your navel. So you're holding it just, yep. Yeah. So it's palm up. The thumb and pinky, palm up underneath your navel. My left hand, thumb and ring finger, right alongside the body. Good, so left hand is up, right hand is under the navel. Yeah, left hand holds the ring finger, right hand holds the pinky. Great. Relax your shoulders, sit tall, and begin to breathe deeply. Gaze down through the tip of your nose. It says that this meditation will help to keep you away from being irrational. <laughs> Keeping you in that place of calm, knowing what to do, when to do it. said that this is one of the five meditations given in a period where darkness is returning to light. Breathe just another moment here deeply into this body, into this universal body, cosmic body.
and take a deep breath in. Hold this breath, squeeze and lift the pelvic floor, draw the navel in and up, hold, squeeze your spine, get so tall. Stay with the mudras, exhale, at the end of the exhale, hold the breath, squeeze and lift the pelvic floor, draw the navel in and up, hold, squeeze, no breath. And then release the mudra, release the breath. As you open your eyes, just roll your neck, roll your shoulders. Maybe take a twist left and right. Good. And bring your hands together at your heart center. The work we do here together is so precious. Not only that we do the work, but we do it together. We'll call it a long sat nam. Inhale. So. Sliding your hands to the space between the eyebrows. Sat nam. Thank you for playing along. <laughs> that was some good work, my friends. You were slithering. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome.